what the heck is going on guys welcome to your 59th biology lesson and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about a dude named Gregor Mendel now Gregor Mendel was actually one of the first dudes to really understand inheritance now he was actually born way back in the 1800s and back then people believed in something called blending inheritance now what blending inheritance basically was is it was the idea that if you had one of your mates say the dad was really tall and he mated with the mom that was really short or you know the girlfriend whatever it is then the offspring would be of medium height because they would take a trait which would be tall and short and these traits would kind of, would kind of blend together so the offspring would pretty much be the average of the mates now obviously later on we know today that this isn't exactly the case but Mendel was actually the first person to, you know he really didn't buy the idea of blending inheritance when everyone else was so what he did is he began to study how organisms inherit traits by breeding pea plants so a pea plant looks something like this and you know it has a flower let me draw I don't know maybe what color would be a nice purple so pea plant has flowers on it and of course it's a pea plant so it also has peas and you guys already know what peas are the kind you eat so what he did like I said is he pretty much started breeding these pea plants so he could study the traits of the offspring so basically he looked at many of the heritable traits and some of them were flower color and what were some other ones the color of the peas were a trait the plant height and also plant shape and pretty much any traits that he could observe he took note of and this is how he began to study inheritance and genetics so after several experiments in breeding different variations of these pea plants he began to notice some very interesting patterns forming now it's important to note that for the first few of Mendel's experiments he only used pure breeding pea plants now what is a pure breeding pea plant well these are plants that always reproduce the same traits in their offspring 100 percent of the time so an example of this would be maybe he was studying the trait of height and pea plants have two different heights that they can grow tall or short well if a pea plant was bred purebred correctly this would mean that a tall pea plant it would always reproduce tall offspring so that's basically what happens in pure breeding they are pea plants that always reproduce the same traits in their offspring 100 percent of the time now of course he purebred tall pea plants and he also purebred short pea plants which meant that whenever you have a purebred short pea plant it always reproduced the form short offspring so whenever I talk about pure breeding that's what I mean pretty much plants that always reproduce the same traits in their offspring 100 percent of the time now another thing that I'm going to be talking about is different types of generations have different conventions of naming the original parents whenever you breed something are, are called the P1 generation now the offspring that they breed immediately kind of think of it like their children is called the F one generation so the p1 are the parents and the f1 are the children now the next generation we'll just call these i don't know the grandchildren are f2 so on and so forth so the original parents are the p1 their children are the f1 and their grandchildren or the next generation are called the f2 generation so i just wanted to mention that because whenever i say whenever you know the p1 generation breeds the f1 offspring you guys are going to understand what i'm talking about so in the next tutorial what i want to do is i want to talk to you guys about exactly what went on in these experiments and why these findings were so freaking interesting